cafe anyway. Mm-hmm. That's what. Mike's Daily Podcast. That's what this is. F- episode 2576, 2576. At Mike Matthews here at Cafe Anyway. Mike's Daily Podcast. Somewhere in Podcastro Valley, the last place on earth. I've got this little cat on my lap, and it hurts because he claws me. Cause he's happy And cats do that sometimes When they're sappy And it's kind of crappy Cause it hurts Did I mention that part? Yes Cats Mike's Daily Podcast So Today Is Not Pi Day That was Mike's The 14th Daily Of March Podcast 3.14159 Yeah And all that Tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day, but now it's you're listening to Mike's Daily Podcast Day, and thank you for listening. So much going on in the world usually has something to do with the bank that we were talking about on the last podcast. Am I going to talk about that on this podcast? I don't know. I think, do pandas enjoy the winter? Wait, what? That's the first question we should be asking. And apparently that's an email that was sent to me at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. Which country do you do most pandas come from? Malaysia, China, or Japan? Yeah, I'm gonna take a wild, just unprecedented guess and say China. And the answer is yes. While estimates vary, most experts agree. That fewer than 2,000 pandas remain in the wild Where they're especially Especially vulnerable to habitat loss Thank you, Bing, for letting me know that Somebody told me the other day The Bing chat GBT thing Is not all that it's cracked up to be Because it was designed to make you Have a conversation with it And here's today's Picture. And thus never ever stop talking to it Because you're like Oh I've I've got a friend now Says this person that I know Who is big in the tech industry So I don't know if that's true But I do know that it kind of takes a long time To get an answer When you are doing the Bing chat BG, GBT The regular search It's just like the Google search But when you're doing the AI Well it's talking to you And it Can I help you some more And that kind of thing Almost like The way Alexa Works So The late great Basil the Boxer Who Who uh, Is A lot of fun On the podcast As you can tell I think all All chat GBT voices should, Should sound like Basil barking Don't you think so Rocky the cat That's on my lap A giant panda's diet Consists of Rice, bamboo, or insects? I would have to say bamboo. Yes, it makes up 99% of a panda's diet. And an adult panda must consume more than 30 pounds. Some manage 80 pounds of the woody grass each day to meet its dietary needs. But bamboo grows so fast, they've got the perfect food source. I'm glad it's not humans. (laughs) I mean, he's a bear. Come on. Don't they? uh, That Dave Matthews song says, I remember the bear ate the guy's head and thought it was a candy. Everyone goes in the end. Knock, knock, knock. No, we're not related. Dave Matthews and I. It's Mike Matthews. Poping is the panda hero in which animated feature? Kung Fu Panda, Madagascar, or Spirited Away? I don't know what anything else is except for Kung Fu Fanda. Yes, it's Kung Fu Fanda. Po Ping is the protagonist, I think voiced by Jack Black, if I'm correct. Yes, it's, well, who cares? And in the protagonist in the Kung Fu Panda franchise, which currently has a fourth film in production. So, the, yes. Oh, Mick Wingert also has voiced Po Ping. 
That's right here at Cafe Anyway Where we talk about things that are important like this Thank you Bing for those que- that answers to those questions Oh Now this is interesting The EPA has finalized a rule To cut down on harmful smog and pollution from power plants And if we uh, look at that USA Today says Via MSN.com The EPA is rolling out New smog fighting rules That aim to clear up air across the country Targeting pollution from power plants And other industrial sources Like smelters and cement plants Oh that's right We have a Democrat In the president's chair So that might be why This sort of thing is happening The good neighbor rule Tightens nitrogen oxide emission levels From power plants and other sources In 23 states And when fully implemented by 2026 As long as some Republican president Doesn't roll it back Would eliminate 1,000 premature deaths And avoid more than 2,000 Hospital and emergency room visits As well as 1.3 cases of asthma symptoms And 470,000 school absence days The agency says The cost for power plants and other sources is about $1.1 billion, but saves the country at least $9 billion in associated health and other costs, the EPA estimates. Under the plan, the states that contribute to smog are required to submit plans ensuring the coal-fired power plants and other industrial sites don't add significantly to air pollution in other states. In cases where a state has not submitted a good neighbor plan, Or where EPA disapproves a state plan The federal plan would take effect To ensure downward states are protected Ah. So today by the way Is National Panda Day And that is why I brought that up And why Bing sent that to me Okay In other interesting news Anyway As we go outside a cafe Anyway we're bringing you Mike's Deli Podcast Somewhere in Podcastro Valley The last place on earth Good news Cafe Anyway did not get flooded With that last atmospheric river That came through The news sure made me really scared Oh it's coming It's gonna be a lot of water Get ready Have a flashlight ready Power's gonna be out on and on and on and went. All I had out was uh, internet was out for about five oh, minutes. Thankfully, I mean, I'm thankful, but still, there's a lot of alarming alarmists. They love to talk with other alarmists, and it gets all ratcheted up. And in the end, they didn't predict the December 31st onslaught of water. The way they tried to predict it happening again And they seem to just say everything is going to be December 31st And it has not been At least around here in Podcastro Valley Which I should be thankful for, yes Hey, what else? So yes, you've been hearing a lot about the bank Morgan Chase is discussing a potential deal with First Republic Bank for a capital infusion Actually Quite a few banks Are going to help out First Republic Bank Wells Fargo Bank of America And others Bank system does not want Another Silicon Valley Bank Fiasco And it's interesting How they're all Banning together The banks are banning Together And Uber Is rolling out A car top ad network The company said drivers can earn 15% extra revenue by installing an ugly, hideous billboard on their cars. Thank you, Uber. They released that information just after they won that appeal. They, they, or they got through that appeal that was like the judge said, hey, no. I said Proposition 22, we're not going to put that into effect, making... Um, everybody that works for Uber A free agent And therefore Uber you get around Paying everybody's insurance and all that Nope We're just gonna um, we're not, But then that got appealed The US economy Now they got Now they're rewarding us with disgusting stupid billboards The US economy May not be in a recession But it feels like it In a lot of stores Across the country Inflation pinched customers are downloading more coupons. 
That's right, coupons. And that's how you say it, coupon. <laughs> like gray poupon, coupon. Okay, thank you. I'm glad you clarified that, Mike. And this podcast should not be called Mike Mansplains. Just want you to know. I'm just passing along information that I was mansplained to. Uh, let's see. Cooking meals at home. People are more apt to cook meals at home. And why not when there's so many great apps? My lovely lady friend loves the app called... Uh, uh, it's called... Uh, pick up limes. Pick up limes. Because you're picking up limes. Because limes are delicious in just about everything. But they... All kinds of delicious recipes that are super healthy. And pretty easy to make. People are switching to low-priced private label brands to save money. Target is bulking up on food and household essentials, essentials to drive in foot traffic. Could that mean Target stock is going up? I'm not going to check. Besides, if I did right now, it would change by the time you listen to this. Target's inventory of discretionary merchandise dropped 13% during the same period. Macy's and Walmart are trying to win more sales from the most loyal customers with annual membership loyalty programs. Getting into, hey, if you're a Walmartier, a Walmartist, you will get a special discount. Oh, in other news that has to do with trying to get people to spend more money on stuff, Shutterfly. So before there was Google Photos, Actually, before there was Google Photos, there was Picasa that Google had for a long time. But then there was other companies. There was something called Snapfish. I remember that being quite popular. And Shutterfly, which were websites where you uploaded your photos, your digital photos. And then once they had them, they would say, oh, why don't we suggest to you making a photo book? And then we'll print a nice book out And you can give it to your mom On Mother's Day Or something like that Now Shutterfly just told me today Look All those pictures you uploaded And I uploaded something like 4,000 pictures to Shutterfly We're gonna delete them all At the end of the month Either you pay You buy something Whatever it is It could be something really small You can keep your photos With us that way Or just download all your photos off of our server But either way you gotta get them off And they gave me an ultimatum By the end of the month Google did a something uh, They did something in Was it two years ago? 2021 They said hey nope As of this date No more free space To upload your photos to You get a finite amount of space And pretty much all of them are like that All the photo folks And as you know, I do a podcast picture. Today's podcast picture, I actually did not take. My lovely lady friend did. But it's of this beautiful little trail, this little road. And with all the greenery. Man, I was driving on 680 today. I tried to take a podcast picture, but I didn't want to crash. Because I'm flying down 680. And man, it's beautiful. Very nice. All the green, green hills. It feels like Ireland. And that's apropos since tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day. But yes, Very nice, beautiful green, green hills now in the Bay Area. That's one good thing with all the rain we had. And the drought is dead. The only thing that they're worried about now is people are going to go back to some bad water wasting habits. And the ground, water, and aquifers, they're not filled. They need a lot more help. And that's something Gavin Newsom, Gavin DeGraw Newsom was going to try to... Change with some legislation recently. Best Buy has the total tech program. That's what they're trying to rope people in. It costs $200 a year, which Best Buy, when you ever you buy anything there, would you like the extra insurance? So, in case you break this or, or it breaks or whatever, uh, you get it replaced or we pay you back. It's just like, wait, what? So you want me to pay twice what I was originally going to pay just so I could, huh? They've been pushing that forever. I don't trust them. Lululemon will do debut monthly memberships for clothes, events, and classes in a bid for loyal customers. 
And it's a sharp turnabout from the year, early years of the pandemic, which was a boom time for retail spending. Even though, as I recall, everybody was doing it online because you couldn't go out because everything was locked down. And speaking of St. Patrick's Day, 61% of Americans are planning to celebrate and expected to spend a record amount of green. St. Patrick, who introduced Christianity to Ireland in the 5th century, has evolved to embrace Irish food, music, and the Emerald Isle signature color. Americans plan to celebrate and are expected to drop a collective $6.9 billion this year. Most St. Patty's Day patrons are marking the occasion by wearing green. Because you're going to get pinched if you don't. 80% are going to do that. 31% are going to make a special dinner, probably with corned beef and cabbage and little potatoes and carrots. And or decorating their homes or office, 26% are going to do that. That's $1 billion more than they, ex- the, the, than they spent last year. So it's coming out to about $43 per person on average, almost 44 Women outspend men in food, apparel, decorations, and greeting cards, all except for beer, where the men win, as you would expect. They love the beer. I'll never forget going to the Alameda County Fair. This is probably four years ago. And they had a beer festival, a wine festival, and a spirits festival. And beer, the beer festival, all men. The wine festival, all women. And I didn't get make it to the spirits festival. I was pretty hungover by that point. I didn't go. But yes, men like beer. Most Americans plan to celebrate uh, St. Patrick's Day by wearing green. McDonald's is bringing back their minty green shamrock shake. Ugh. And Krispy Kreme customers who wear a green shirt on St. Patrick's Day will score a free glazed donut. I don't think we have Krispy Kreme anywhere here in the Bay Area. Outside a cafe anyway, somewhere in Podcaster Valley. If there is, I, I shouldn't know where it is because that's the last place I need to go. Look is here. Hello, Mike Matthews. It's Jolly. It's your hardscape job supervisor. What happened to your cat, Mike Matthews? He left. He got bored with me talking about St. Patrick's Day. Understandable, Mike Matthews. I've got these super... Sp- Special St. Patrick's Day snow globe. Would you like one? Oh, wow. Look at that. How neat. And when you shake it, these little leprechauns dance amidst green snow. That's like not green snow, Mike Matthews. Those are little clovers and shamrocks. Oh, wonderful. Have a shamrock shake, everybody. Look who else is here. Hello, Dave, Mike. This is Valentino, the parenting attendant. And this is Bison Bentley. Do you right? Mike, we're making some corned beef in the booth there for the packing lot there. Yeah, the packing lot. Do you right? Ah. And look who else is here. Hello, Mike. This is Floyd the Floor Man. And this is John Deere, the engineer, Mike. Yes, happy St. Patrick's Day. Mm -hmm. Everything is fine. Uh Uh-huh. No, it's not true at work. There was all kinds of technical problems. Where were you and John Deere, the engineer, to help out? I was busy. I was doing things like buying snow globes for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> just, I don't think it's a seasonal thing. <sighs> Make St. Patrick's Day snow globes a seasonal thing with the snowing shamrocks and clovers. Next show, it's going to be the wonderful Benita, the disgruntled fiddle player, and the brewmaster. What do you think about all of these topics that I covered today? 510-228-4640. There's a little question mark on the website next to my phone number. But it's true. 510-228-4640. And with more ways to reach me, it's A-Frame. Happy St. Patrick's Day. And if it's long since past, happy whatever the next holiday is to you. Mike's TV podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.